Alrighty, here we come. Giggly. Welcome back. Another Arrowheim. Yes, another Arrowheim. Why not? I really want to get through this cave. I don't want to s stop a stream in the middle of a freaking cave. It just sounds annoying. Because by the time I get back here in the next stream, I'll have forgotten which way I've come in. Let's see, what do I do? Like I drew a soldier on. Actually, <laughs> I'm out of my. I'm out. <coughs> I ran out of my cold and flu meds. Really, just should go get some more. Soldier on with culture. Soldier on, soldier on. Do they still use that? That um. Jingle. Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't watch commercial TV anymore, so I don't really hear. Local TV ads. Like, I literally haven't watched free to air TV in. Well, local free to air TV in. eight, nine years. Like, everything I've watched for the past decade or so has been downloaded or streamed or DVD or whatnot. It's so weird when I travel. Because in hotel rooms, of course, you just you watch regular TV. It's so weird seeing ads in the middle of stuff. <laughs> I'm not used to that anymore. Commercial breaks are a foreign concept to the digital generation. Many different values mixed together and the world becomes grey and it's unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people and black and white. It will be clearly distinct. Oh my god, that's why they call it black and white! I wish I had not done that voice. <clears throat> Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. It's like that that Family Guy gag where they're talking about oh saying the name of the movie in the in the in the movie. He said it. Uh, yes, that is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. Lucy, do you have a dream around? Yes, for this game to end. And then what kind of dream you have in battle? Terrible mistake. Hi, Baldor. Meet my groundwater type. Sturdy. I was really hoping you didn't have sturdy. Hey, we got burned though. <laughs> Bob, can we? Give me a bit of a mud slap, baby, mud slap. <coughs> God damn it. I would really like to be able to talk normal. Two voices, same. I have a dream to see if I find a boss. I have a dream. Do you believe that Pokemon and Battle Surface understand what it Preserve the other ones, just use a bit of acid right here. How's your trip now? It's pretty good. Well, that's a lie. The trip was awful. Like the travel bit. Miserable. Don't don't fly um, Etihad Airways, they they suck. I mean they're not as bad as American Airlines, but they're still pretty bad. The food was awful. Ugh. Some of the worst airline food I've ever had. The airline food was so bad, it reminded me of the eighties when comedians would be like, what's the deal with airline food? Isn't that a big joke? But the Germany itself, I didn't really see much of Germany because I was so busy at Gamescom, but what I saw of Germany was lovely. The Germans I met were lovely. And Gamescom was huge. It was an experience.
I'm really privately, secretly hoping that the next such trip I get to go on is like Tokyo Game Show. Because now that I've done Gamescom, Tokyo Game Show is one of the last sort of video game type expos that I really, 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 really want to get to. But I have no idea whether MSI have any interest in sending me to somewhere like that. I don't know if they'd do anything at Tokyo Game Show. But I would like to get there someday. Or even one of the uh, American PAXs. Cause PAX Australia is pretty good, but I would like to see one of the big ones in America. I mean, not like it's small here, but still they're bigger in America. Or TwitchCon. I would like to get to TwitchCon. Everyone I've, everyone I've talked to has been to TwitchCon, so it's a blast. Gamescom this year. How about that? Well, that was pretty easy. I wasn't even concentrating. Tsk. Why? It is impossible for me to win while feeling bad about being a traitor. As if I could pursue my deals with something as meaningless as a battle. <coughs> and if that could make me worthy to become friends with the legendary Pokemon. Let me see. Just a little further to Mr. Alphorn. How do you even say that? Miss Trelton. Miss Trelton City. Miss Trelton City. Professor Juniper Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard Lucy's voice from that far away. <coughs> Who is this trainer? Professor Juniper, what do you think? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between Pokemon and people. You put Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules and think you can understand them like that. Well, yes, because that's how the game was designed. That's precisely how the game was designed, actually. The very idea of a Pokedex revolts me. Well, fuck off and stop using one then. I don't know. Why are you trying to push your ideals onto other people, little cunt? I need to kick you in the throat. I'm so tired of you. Mm. Oh my, it looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different from mine. Oh, fuck's sake, you dick. Whatever. Just, just fuck. Oh, I'm running a conflict. It happens to be different from mine, which is equally understandable. Blah, 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 blah. I don't even care about this. Just, just, just shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. Nothing that guy has ever said has been compelling or interesting in even the fucking remotest way. He's the least interesting antagonist of any Pokemon game. I think I'll go collect a little more data for Pokemon and people to get along better. We need to take steps to learn more about them. The, the N stands for Nazi? No, the N stands for nobody fucking cares what this guy has to say. Have you been keeping up with the anime at all, Bunny? Nah. Nah. I think the last time I actually watched any of the anime, deliberately at least, was... Man, I think they were still back on the fucking Orange Islands or some shit. Like, it was long, long ago. I haven't even watched any of the movies since maybe the fourth one. Maybe fifth. I don't know. It's been ages. Hey! Oh, look at that fucking plane. <coughs> I mean, that plane has... I mean, that... <coughs> Just let me say the joke. God damn it, throat. I think that bra that plane has brain cancer is what I was trying to say there, but... Fucked it. Just fucked it. Look at this. This is a tumor. It's not a tumor. Ah, that bra... That... Fucking... Fuck. That plane looks like it has a brain tumor. Seventh gym hype yet? Is this is, is this where the gym is? This must be where the gym is. It feels like it's been a while. 
That was a long path between towns. Surely there's a gym in this town. Actually, before we go, we need to stock up on healing items and shit. Look at me remembering, by the way, buying ten at a time. Hey. I think that's literally the first time in Pokemon Black that I remembered to buy 10 at a time of Pokeball so I can get the Premier Ball. <coughs> uh, we have 4 revives. We have 12 antidotes. Awakening we need more of. Burn heal. Three of those. Ice heal. We can get up to 19. I think we're okay. 200 steps, 250. There's six max repels. I think that'll do for now. Elephant. Sorry, the elephant. The elephant one. If we're being full and complete. How you doing? Have you been in one of my streams before? I don't recognize the username. Or have you just been lurking for a while? Skylar's grandfather was a legendary pilot. Skylar is our city's gym leader. She's a really nice person. So I told you that this one was flying, didn't I? telling me, no, it's ice, it's ice, it's ice. It's definitely flying. So Dad was a pilot ship. Everybody calls me the reminder girl. I know every move the Pokemon is living up and I can make the Pokemon remember these moves. Hey, move relearner. Cool, now we know where she is. Uh, the elephant was taken. I've looked for a while. <laughs> Cutscene alert. I'm the guy that actually liked this game. Oh, yeah, this is you and like seven other people. <laughs> Lucy, right? Let me see your Pokedex for a moment. What do we have here? So you found 65 Pokemon. Damn, so close. All I needed was like, what, four more? Staggering, you've seen a clink! You're becoming quite the trainer. Excuse me, I was all excited and forgot my manners. My name is Juniper. Cedric Juniper. The professor who gave you the Pokedex is my daughter. <coughs> my girl has told me a lot about you. It really makes my day to meet you. In honor of your meeting, I'm going to upgrade your Pokedex. Okay, for what purpose? So Pokemon can change forms even when it's the same individual. If you have already seen a form, you can check it with whatever this font. <coughs> set of function. Makes searching easier. Okay, cool. Who's that traitor? Who's that traitor? I forgot my introduction, Skylar. This is my friend of my daughter's. Lucy is traveling around you know, to complete the Pokedex. Oh, I see. That means you've been challenging the gym. <coughs> <coughs> oh boy, I'm really looking forward to it. Some people came for the game. 
the other 20 came for the dildo jerks. A giggity. <laughs> if nothing else, this gym is really out there. So, Skylar, if something comes up again, I'll let you know. My plane is a cargo plane. It carries cargo, not people. And you're talking to places like Gunto and Sinnoh are right around the corner. Ask oh, Skylar if you keep frowning, your face might freeze like that. Be a shame, people are going to want to have to help each other out. See you later. Yeah, that felt like a super important inter in interaction. <laughs> Sheesh. It's hard to believe a happy-go-lucky guy like that could be a world-renowned Pokemon professor. Heads up, Lucy. As a gym leader, I'll be happy to have you challenge the gym. There's something I need to take care of first. Ah, oh, fuck, one of those. Just now, I was flying the Koga plane. I saw something on top of the Celestial Tower. I'm sure that is a sick Pokemon. If it is, I can't just leave it there. I have to look into this right away. I'm leaving for Route 7 Celestial Tower. You can come along if you want. God damn it. No gym yet. So it's uh, strewn with windblown leaves. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> there are no leaves on the ground at all. There are a lot of greenhouses around the runway. Freshly picked vegetables can be sent to various regions very quickly. Sensible enough, except for all the jet fumes. Cannons! Cannons! Got us gyms full of cannons! If you have a gym badge from this run, you need to do something cool. Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, but yeah, I got a 1080 Ti. You wish you classify it because the 980 Ti performs the same as the 1070. I'm, well, it's close enough. Any plans to fly out of my and over cargo planes? If traders want to fly, they can go with it. But go where's the move fly? <laughs> okay. And in here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. See? The map. Why? Why Why is all this down here if there's no secret? There's no Pokeball, there's no item. Why? Why, why even just have that there? design of the maps in this game. In every other Pokemon game, if there's like a path like this that goes way down, there's like a, there'd be a Pokeball down the corner there or something with, you know, even if something as little as a, a refresher object or something, but no, not in this game. <laughs> Skydrop. Hey, Skydrop. I don't think I've come across that move before. Hurls the target into the air, then drops it on the ground. Second turn, the target cannot attack while in the air. 10, 100% accuracy, flying type. That could be cool. What? Neither of my flying types can learn it? What the shit? Well, that's retarded. Flying type move that my flying type can't learn. It's dangerous playing a Linux chip. We should be okay on ours. We have only one cargo flat a day. Okay, fine, whatever. Douche. Oh, hey. Oh, this must be the gym. <coughs> Those wings are way too short for a cargo plane. These things must get terrible fuel economy. Uh, do you have the GameCube controller or adapter on your modified 3DS2? Uh, or HDMI out? Neither! It's actually USB out on the uh, modified 3DS. See? That's uh, USB. Do, 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 not HDMI. As far as I know, there is no way to modify these things for HDMI output. 
I hear many people have their Pokemon stolen by Team Plasma. Is that what you hear? Hey, Bunty, how are you feeling? Pretty terrible, Hal. Pretty terrible. But struggling through. Powering on. That raised walkway. If you stand still, you'll fall off, so you have to keep moving. Oh, this? Mega Drain and Giga Drain. Your opponent's HP is reducing your head. Okay, yep. Kid, have you bought any Bulldore? If you have, would you trade your Bulldore for Omolga? No, fuck off. Lol, the Apple sticker? Yeah. <laughs> Always gets a comment. to the Celestial Tower, but I got lost and stranded. Does that mean I'm on the right path, at least? Or does that mean I'm on the wrong path? Power hungry. Yeah, yeah, the um, EVJ cards usually are pretty power hungry, because they're designed for like super duper overclocker douches. So they always have way overbuilt power supplied to them. I mean, the same is true for a lot of high video cards, so MSI do the same thing with, with several of their models. Like the Gaming and Gaming X series, they also have overbuilt power, power supply uh, delivery for overclocking. But the EVGA ones in particular, uh, because they, they're built for LN2 overclocking a lot of the time. Charge beam, nice. <coughs> okay, so that path just loops around, fair enough. Hello, shaky grass. Is an overclock douche and I'm offended. <laughs> well, me too, if we're fair. I mean, the CPU and the uh, GPU and that. Wait, what happened there? Regenerator? What? What was that? <coughs> What's well, Regenerator? What's going on? <coughs> actually, can't think of it. I don't think I actually have the GPU of that thing overclocked right now. Because it's just a Founders Edition, so... It stays quieter when it's not overclocked. Sometimes you find more than just strong Pokemon in the tall grass. Mikey! I'm gonna go. <coughs> <coughs> uh, Druna gave you its ability. Generate heals your Pokemon with the ability at 30%. Okay. I just wasn't paying attention. I didn't know that could happen. Cooked crab. Goddamn sturdy. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be a a long time before um, 
some sage. Um, we'll stay. It'll be a long time before I get around to Pokemon Black 2. Like, the intent is to play through both on stream, but I'm going to need a long break after Black 2, before I go back to Black 2. So, the next game we're going to play in the Pokemon series is going to be Pokemon Sun. And we'll play through that before Ultra comes out in November. But I'm struggling to push myself through this game. It's the only Pokemon game that I've, I just have to push myself to play. Every other Pokemon game that's ever come out, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to play this, I need to play more of this. Stream like 12 hours of the damn thing. But black and black too. Oh man. It's just, it's just effort. Just <coughs> effort and strain. force yourself to play a game you don't like. Because I want to get through it. I want to be able to say that I've actually finished all the Pokemon games. It's mainly what it is about. I mean, I don't hate it. I'm not like, oh, this is the worst game ever. Oh, I can't be bothered. It's just that, as far as Pokemon games go, it's just not a very good Pokemon game. It still makes it better than a lot of other games, though. But I just, I don't know, I'm determined just to get through it, just so I can. It feels weird having a Pokemon RPG that I haven't finished. It's always felt weird. Pokemon Black and White 2 have the PWT, which is better than the Pokemon Frontier. I really don't care about that aspect of the game anyway. Better facial animation than Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> I've seen people scoop up things off the street that have better facial animations than Mass Effect Andromeda. I've seen things fall off sick puppies that have had better facial animation than Mass Effect Andromeda. I've, I've seen things leak out of microwaves that have better facial animation than Mass Effect Andromeda. I've seen homeless people vomit things that have better facial animations than Mass Effect Andromeda. I've seen quadriplegics, which have better facial animations than Mass Effect Andromeda. Is that a step too far? Is that is that is that where the line is? Because I'm not really mocking quadriplegics. I'm just saying they have better mobility than Mass Effect Andromeda. Is that offensive? I, I can't even tell. Any quadriplegic in the chat room, raise your hand. That's too far. That's offensive. <laughs> and you know when I said it. <laughs> Actually, I know a quadriplegic. He would be laugh laughing his ass off at that. Laughing his ass off at that. Not that he'd feel it, but oh, I'm a shithead. I'm a shithead. I feel bad. <laughs> Scolipede. We'll stay in. I just did a backflip right over the line, didn't I? Stuck the landing, though. 9.8 out of 10.
You bitch. What the fuck is a youngster doing with a scolipede anyway? It's a bit aggressive, isn't it? I've just noticed the uh, the single cupcake cheer is just, just nested in the cheer cup perfectly. Look at it. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. Right there in the center. Perfectly nested. So cute. Fuck this guy, I'm out of here. Alright. Um, so I guess this is the way to go. Model A. I can deal with that. Ace Trainer Elmer. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting rotation battles. <coughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty well set up for this, aren't I? Skyward Sword of the Pokemon games. Not a bad game per se, but everyone's least favourite. Not everybody's least favourite. We have had a few people pop in during the playthrough that said, Oh, it's my favourite! Unfortunately, I'm a dick every time they say that. I'm like, really? Why? <laughs> Fuck you for being stupid and calling this your favourite game. What are you, dumb? Have you never ever played any other games before? Uh, but nah, no, uh, some people like it. I don't. Oh, I... To be fair, I don't like it as much as I like other Pokemon games. I mean, you know. Gonna take him out. Felt for sure. Do do the balance of three Pokemon, each with its own roll. I still have to do more research. Yeah, considering I wiped you out without even switching once, probably do. Pussy. First playthrough that I have completed Andromeda. So, my testing games is weird. You completed Andromeda? Man. Talk about a slug. Psst. Notice me. Thank you. Now, I, I played, I think, exactly an hour of Andromeda. And I got completely fed up with it. It was just so frustratingly bad. Maybe I would have been more willing to stick with it further if I'd played the other Mass Effect games and was more invested in it as a property, but... 
just as a standalone experience, as a, as a doorway in to the Andromeda experience, it just was not very sticky. Bundy seems to have a lot of anger towards this game's NPCs. Yeah. <laughs> Hate them all. I want them to die in a house fire. <laughs> you finished it before it got patched, Jesus. That's hardcore, man. <laughs> <coughs> so, um, any of you regular chat peeps got any interest in seeing me stream Ark Survival Evolved? Because I did finally get it to work. Like, I haven't played it since, I don't know, it must have been two years back, when it was still early, early access. It has changed so much. Like, I played about an hour last night, just pottering around, pottering around. The interface is so much better than it used to be. It makes way more sense now, but there are so many more, so many more creatures. Like, back when I played, all of the creatures were dinosaurs, or birds. But now there are, like, fucking griffins and dragons and, like, legitimate dragons. And, and all kinds of wackadoo fucking creatures. Weird. It's weird. I have no idea what anything does or what to feed anything. And I thought for sure once they came out of early access, there'd be a better tutorial. Like even Minecraft has tutorials. But I don't know. It's weird. If I did do a playthrough of Ark, it'd be a single-player world. And it'd be just like a pure survival thing, trying to, try, like, like I do in Minecraft, just build up a base and get some automated uh, uh, material gathering going and stuff like that. Just kind of build a cool base. Would be the, the, the main aim of my arc playthrough, I think. I feel like it would be more, most enjoyable for me. Ark has otters? Oh man, I'm totally in. I love otters. Otters are like one of my favorite aquatic mammals. Otters are so cute. Like last time I was even keeping up with Ark, it would have been a year and a half ago. I think last time I was watching any playthroughs of it, like Slipgator. I used to watch Slipgator's playthrough of Ark before I got bored of it. And I think that was it was just, just after they introduced um, beavers. Ah, uh, fuck, I'll keep bobbing. Playing right now, eight hours straight. Yeah, I mean, if if Ark is, is a sticky game for you, it's, it's going to grab hold of you. It's one of those games that you can just dive into. Like, I've played seven hours total. According to my Steam, I've played seven hours total, only one hour of which is in the actual final release of the game. The six hours I played before then were all in very early access. Like I said, not even the, in the last two years, I don't think. Like, very early access stuff. But it was still super, super buggy. <coughs> don't know what it is, but why not? Don't know what it is? Oh, Ark. Ark is, um... Survival crafting sandboxy type game. Like there are dozens and dozens of those games these days, but Ark was one of the not one of the first, but one of the first to do it. Like it does things, like not not Minecrafty. Like there were Minecraft clones everywhere. Then Ark came along, and since then a lot of people have aped Ark. In the time it's taken Ark to go from early access into full release, it's been sort of leapfrogged by a bunch of competitors, but... Bob the Bob boo, Bob does ass typical Bob, yeah. Just 
Actually, I've just got these otters and bred them. They're freaking adorable. Oh my god, baby otters. They must be so cute. I'm gonna have to drop back in on his chat. I'm still subscribed to Slip Gator. I just haven't watched any of his videos in fucking ages. I got a bit bored with the Ark stuff, to be quite frank with you. And that's all he was doing. So what do they, what do the otters do? <clears throat> I mean, what's their purpose in the game? What do they collect for you? I'd have to imagine it'd be like pearls or something, right? Because that's what otters in the real world do. I mean, otters in the real world don't collect pearls, but they do feed on shellfish, which is where pearls come from, clams and stuff. Uh, what do you let your Pokemon have? What is their style? The fuck do you mean, what do I let them have? I give you hypothermic insulation when they sit upon thy neck. Are you serious? Are you serious? You can wear an otter scarf and it keeps you warm. <laughs> That's awesome. Because I'm hopeless at social artists and fashion. Okay, whatever. Pearls. Oh, they do collect pearls? Called it. Figured that'd be it. That hypothermic hypotherm insulation. That's hilarious. Speaking of otters, actually. He's a somewhat otter-inspired Pokemon right here. Is there a place we get healed up somewhere close by? I need a heal. Oops. God damn it, get on the thing. The only thing I don't like about the thought of playing Ark though is it's a fairly high maintenance game. Right, there was so much busy work in that game. Keeping everything fed. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Them, you kill a fish and bring them the corpse. That's adorable. Now, that's the other thing about Ark. There is so much you have to know to go to play it. You have to know what each separate species needs to fucking tame it. And I don't know. It's a it's a it's a fairly deep game. I don't know whether I have the patience for it, quite honestly. Not when I'm playing a bunch of other stuff at the same time. I mean, I get how you could just play that one game or stream that one game and specialize in that one game. But I don't know if I've got the focus to split my time between Ark and Minecraft and Pokemon and whatever else we're doing at the time.
Jaxu. Come back, X. It's time to burn things. Wait. Did I remember his typing wrong again? God damn it. He's by ground, isn't he? Well, that was a mistake. And I paid for it dearly. Alright, I have to backtrack again. Watch this. Whoops, it is he. Tigger says, Alright, got a flight in the morning back home to Ireland from the US. Jet lag will be fun. Alright, enjoy that. Thanks for hanging out though. See ya. <coughs> Actually, how are we doing for time? We're nearly, yeah. We're about, we're about due for another break. I might, I might call it for the day. pretty soon after this sort of after this hour of, of, of play is up. I don't want to push myself too hard. Like I'm still feeling okay-ish. I could probably go another hour, maybe another two even, but I should probably not. I should probably choose not to for the sake of my health. <laughs> Plus tomorrow is probably going to be a long stream as well because uh, Minecraft Sunday tomorrow, so might uh See if we can reserve some energy. But we should see about... Um, I mean, how long is this going to take? How long does this tower take? Should we wait and do this? Or should we do this and finish the stream? I'm going to feel like the tower is probably a little bit involved. It's probably going to take at least, what, 15, 20 minutes? Do a bunch of floors. It's like the, like the towers and silver and stuff, I guess. So what we might do is legitimately call it here and when we start the next Pokemon Black stream <coughs> throughout the week <coughs> this will be our starting place and then we'll do the gym actually we might do this then do some grinding in that grass then do the gym over the next couple of uh, episodes but uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm starting to I can feel my energies lagging I'm not coughing as much as I was which is good but still I think we should do the smart thing and end this particular stream session here. Um, but I will see you all back, hopefully, tomorrow for Minecraft Sunday. I will try, try, I will try to start Minecraft Sunday early tomorrow to give our European guys more of an opportunity to pop in. I did do a little bit of work in Minecraft on the Switch on the plane uh, flying to Germany. So a little bit has changed. I did a little bit of villager work, so still a little bit to do there. And we need to build some farms and stuff. Anyway, enough of that talk. Thank you very much for hanging out today, guys. Um, there it is. There's my everything. It has been fun. It's good to get back to uh, Pokemon. Hopefully, it won't take us too much longer to get through the rest of this game. But we got we got three fairly solid hours of gameplay in today, and we did make some uh, progress. Haha! <laughs> I said it. P word. We did make some progress today. Um, I'm feeling good about it. It's good to be back. And sorry it took me so long to get back to Pokemon. But uh, that's it for today, guys. Thank you, and peace out. <laughs>